The hung parliament is where the parliament is split right down the middle such that there's no majority. Yes, the speaker, even by what he said the other time, even though it had no relevance to what they were doing, kept hammering that uh, there's no majority party in, in parliament. What, what was the relevance in the, in the debate that was going on? And we have never claimed that we are the majority party. But you see, a majority leader could come from a party with uh, a lesser number of seats in parliament. The NDC, for instance, have 137. We could even have a situation where the MPP could have 120 seats. The party with the majority of seats in parliament would be the NDC. But they will not be the majority party. Because they did not cross off. If maybe you had smaller parties who then decide, that is, in that case, maybe you have about 18 seats occupied by smaller parties. The MPP seat is 120. 18 seats are occupied by smaller parties, all of whom agree to work with the MPP, which number is 120, to bring the number of the majority group to 138. The leader of that group will still be the majority leader and the party and the and the parliament is not a hung parliament that is what people should understand i think it's become the character of the current speaker to even be referring to the two leaders as co-leaders where he's manufacturing that from only he can defend his position there's nothing like co-leaders in in any parliament but he's trying to inject that into the discourse why he's doing that nobody understands to try to co create confusion in Parliament where no confusion is this. The Speaker is a, a close friend of yours, a good friend, I would like to believe, for, for many years. Yes. And beyond what happens on the floor of Parliament, you have opportunities to engage. We agree to disagree. You agree to disagree? <laughs> yes. But, but the fact, I mean, he still remains a friend. He travelled the day before yesterday, um, on Saturday. Before he left, he called me 